Good afternoon and welcome back to Buster Boom. Today we take on Man City at home in the Premier League and then brush your Dortmund away in the Champions League looking to qualify for those knockout stages which would be insane given the group we were given but you know what? It's in our hands. Nothing really has happened since you laughed with me. Just the draw with Liverpool which you see in last episode. Again, I was really disappointed. But there has been a patch. A patch released tonight which makes me sceptical of how well my games are going to go today. Because you know it, and I know it. Every time a new patch comes out, the match engine changes a little bit, and your previous tactics may not work. And we will see all that today. So, table-wise, we're now down in fifth place. However, we do have two games in hand now. We're obviously not going to win the league this season, and that's not the aim. The aim is to get back in the Champions League again, make some more money, and go from there. The, the more we're in the Champions League, the more money we make, the better the squad becomes, and eventually we, we become the powerhouse that is Darlington, and we will dominate world football. That is the goal here. Whether we get there or not is neither here nor there. Well, it is. Whether we get there before the next game comes out, you know what, we're only in February. We should do. We should do. In fact, I, I'm starting to think we may need another save before the end of the season, we will, before the new game comes out. But we'll see what happens anyway. So, today's game, City at home, we obviously have Coker injured, so this is how we line up. Marzuki, Diallo, Maravich, Kift, Beck, Soljic, Vukic, Vibora, Gavi, Simpson and Nunes. And Gavi's just getting better and better and better. This boy is an absolute superstar, wherever he plays, just stick him anywhere. And he's four and a half star. What a player. Worth 42 million. Remember, I got him for three and a half from Barcelona. Absolute quality. Jamie Nunes. Worth 36 million now. Remember, I picked up for seven and a half. This is what we're doing in the save. We are picking up players for next to nothing and then selling them on until we can build better teams. Although, Gavi, I don't think I'll ever sell on. I think I'm keeping him for, how old is he now? 25? At least until he's 29. <laughs> we don't like players over 30 in this team. So let's get in. Let's have a look at City's team. And, well. Let's cry a little bit because their team is always absolutely fantastic. Remember they won the league last season? They're in six this year. I'm not sure what's going on. But do we recognise anybody? Edison's still playing in goal. Quintana's there. Um, I'll tell you, Brett Pittman's son. Don't recognise many. And Guardiola's still there, which is really surprising. That We're now in 2029. Guardiola's been at that club for near 15 years at this point. Um, we're underdogs. Pump fists to say we're underdogs. Let's get out there. And soon we'll be back at our own ground. I can't wait to be back at Feetums. Although, when I ask them to expand it again, we might have to move out again. The problem is that you can only ask for a new ground every 10 years. And we've been at Feetums for what? We've moved there. We got there last season. And then this season we've had to move out. So we've got another eight seasons before we can ask for a new ground. And then they've got to build it, which is a bit of a pain. I'm hoping the expansion, we can expand it and keep expanding it, but who knows? Who knows? If the board were smart, they give us room to expand. If they're not, we will need a new ground at some point. But City are coming at us. Of course they are. I am really missing Coker. He's such a good player. Especially down that right wing. He'd have chased all the way there. Sabatini, outside the box, into the box, it's over the bar. You know what? We won't worry about that. The ground isn't full, because obviously we're not playing. At our own ground, the Riverside, it's not that far away from Darlington. It's not like Burnley. We packed Burnley out, which is a bit odd. I don't understand why the ground isn't full when we're playing City. It could be an issue. But we've had four shots on goal, two on target. They've had five and one. They've had more of the ball, which you expect from Man City. But you know what? I, I, t you know, I, I say it every week or every day. We'll take a draw against City. Any team I won't take a draw against, you know, like Watford. We won't take a draw against Watford. Anyway, we hoof it forward. Simpson's got it. Back into Vukic. Vukic into Gavi, but they've got it again. Cole Palmer brings it forward. He's a good player, Cole Palmer. It's a good tackle by Soljic, but it only goes out to Sabatini. Sabatini down the wing. Can we get a block? We do get a block, but it's out to Quintana. And there's all sorts going on here. They've hit the outside of the post. That That's what's happened there. They've hit the outside of the post. And we get a 0-0 at half-time, which isn't the worst. They've had the better of it, mainly. We'll get in and we'll say we're not happy with it. Um, I'm not happy with that out there. I, I feel a bit harsh on them. I told them we were underdogs. And then tell them I'm not happy with a nil-nil. But, you know, football's a fickle business. And I say what I want. 
Kift hoofs it forward to Nunes. Nunes into Simpson. Simpson, can he get a ball across? He can't. Of course he can't. Conrad's got it. Can we get this ball off and can we nick it? We couldn't nick the ball off Mount there, but never mind. Soljic into Simpson, who nods it on, and Nunes has scored a goal. And there we go. There's the first change. The assists now show with the goal. So, obviously beforehand, it just showed the goal, but didn't tell you who assisted it, which was weird because it always did, but it now does. It didn't last very long there, but it did show Simpson with the assist. He's not it down to Nunes, and Nunes has slotted at home. Swatted at home? He's, he's catching flies, he is. That's what he's doing. There we go. 1-0 up. Happy with that. Why are we looking at the offside? He was never offside. We could see that from... I'd have called it. I know when people are offside. I don't know what to talk about. Mount with a corner into the box. Do not concede from a corner. We nearly did. You've hit the bar. I'm not impressed. And we are, we are, we're we are not even moving up. The bar is injured. That's not good. Are we just going to kill all my wingers? Maximoff's there, though. Obviously, he is back from within everything at the Coliseum. Listen, I know. I know. It was a poor joke. It was a poor joke. Anyway, he didn't kill Commodus. Marzuki to Kift. Kift out to Maravic. Maravic forward to Maximov. Maximov to Vukic. Nunes. Nunes beats his man. Now, we need players in the box for support here. Are we going to get any? He skips past one. He's into the box. He's had a shot. So when we do get players, there's five players in the box there. He decided to give it to none of them and just smash it over the bar, which was lovely of him. Why would it take back off? That's a bad idea. Why would it bring on a centre-back to play there? Vukic is knackered. We've got 87 minutes. I'll take him off now to waste some time. I'm not going time wasting him because I did that last time and conceded two late goals and against Liverpool, which you've seen. And they're coming forward and it's going to happen again, isn't it? Maravich has got it. He hoofs it away. It's a poor clearance, and that poor... Oh, it's another clearance, though. Nunes has got it this time, though, and he's away. He's strong, he's quick, he's into box. He gives it to Simpson, and we're 2-0 up. And not even I can conspire to lose a game in the 88th minute when we've just gone 2-0 up. Not even me. So we're going to go... Um, we're going to waste all the time now. And I might be tempting fate here, but that is a... You know what? Nunes has done really well there. And to put this ball across... And Simpson with the first time shot. You'd have to question Everson. It wasn't the hardest shot. But you know what? 2 0. I'm pleased with that. Let's get some subs on. Yeah, why not do that now? Just waste time. And we're going to beat City 2 0. And I'd like to say, SI, great job on the new match engine and beating City. <laughs> Second half, we've done much better there. We had 11 shots, 6 on target. They've had more of the ball again. You expect that. Where well, IXG went up, you know. Behind this, but you know, we are massively behind in that first half. Anyway, let's say I'm pleased. I see the way it's highlighted this now. There's a few little changes, subtle changes in there. I'm pleased with that. You know what? I'm made up. I wonder if they get any more options. That's to be a satisfying win. Every win is a satisfying win for me. Every single one of them. I am pleased with winning. We're still fifth. We still have two games in hand, but it does mean that with those two games in hand, we can catch Man United. United have shot up, haven't they? We're not getting nowhere near Liverpool. You know, we're not challenged for any titles here. Tommy Myers, decent decent result, decent match. What are you expecting, Tommy? John Scott's got it. Fantastic result. Defended well, attacked well. Just a brilliant all-round performance. That's exactly what I want to see from John Scott. Thank you. Oh, the ball is after six to nine days with a twisted knee. Kiff's tired. And that means we're going to miss the Bora for the Champions League game, which is not good, considering... I mean, look, at my, not a players, there's players on my bench who aren't registered for this. Anyway, we're going to rest for two days. I'm going to come back for the Dortmund game. And let's let's pray we match Leon's. We don't even... If we win, we're through. If we match Leon's result, we're through. If Leon lose or draw, we are through. That's the connotation. So, I'll see you in a second. Welcome back for the Darlington game. And it's not often I show you the preview of the youth intake. Because it's not often... In fact, it's never happened that I've got... We should be really optimistic about this group of young players. Obviously, all the hard work... Well, all the complaining about our youth system to the board has paid off. And we're now starting to get some... Maybe some quality players coming through. It's not a golden generation, but an optimistic, which we've never had before, which I am... Well, I, I'm really pleased with. We could do with it. We've got no homegrown players, which most of the, most of the problems come from that. 
when we register some players for the Champions League or the Europa League. So, team we're going to go with. I obviously haven't got to set the team up yet. So, Vibora, obviously, he's going to come out for... We'll play Maximoff out there. Why not? Maximoff is a good little player. as an inside forward. And we need to sort this out. We've got injuries, unregistered, and fitness problems. Vibora out for... Who can we put on there? Uh, we're struggling a bit, aren't we? Theo. And we can get a Desi off for... Alan Bell, Alan, Alan Bell, yeah, Alan Bell can play anywhere, he's that kind of guy. So, team we're going to go with is Marzuki Diallo, Maravich, Kift, Beck, Soldier Vukic, Maximoff, Gavi, Simpson and Nunes. And remember, if we match Leon's or better Leon's results, we're through. Leon have to win to overtake us because we have better head-to-head -head than them. And, in fact, we've got better head-to-head -head than Inter. And in... I just forgot. We can actually top the group. If Leon beat Inter and we win tonight, we top the group. Actually, if Leon draw with Inter and we win tonight, if we win tonight, we could top the group. Is basically how it should be. Anyway, do that, yeah. Do all that stuff. Um, I haven't even looked at their team. I should have done, really, shouldn't I? It's all going to my head a little bit. Uh, but da -da -da -da. We could secure qualification for the first knockout round. We'll say that. We'll pump the old fists while we're doing it, though. Uh, set assistance. And we're at, obviously, Dortmund Stadium, which I'm going to have trouble pronouncing, so I won't. It's got the yellow wall, that's all I know. That massive stand behind one of the goals, and there's loads of fans here. But look how badly Dortmund have done in this group. It has been awful, absolutely awful. However, I'm going to say that, and they've got the ball. Garcia to Hel Hellstone. Ah, his name's Hellstone. It's, a, it's an interesting name. And he's got several names that I can't pronounce. I and mean, that's just cheating. But Dante, and it's over the bar. It's over the bar. I, I, I'm sceptical that Leon can beat Inter. So, I, I think a draw will do it. However, you know I'm going to be bitten on the bum and Leon will score in the last minute if we don't pick a win here. Maximoff's got it. Brings it forward. And there he goes. Out wide to Nunes. Maximoff again. Don't give the ball away, Maximoff. Diallo. Vukic, Suljic, Vukic again, into Gavi. Gavi, it's a poor ball from Gavi. You don't expect that from Gavi. You do expect better. Uh, it's a poor ball fall from them. We've just hoofed it though. What are we doing? I don't. We're not playing hoof ball here. They're into the box and there's a block and it's ping ponging everywhere. And that was the highlight. It was a very long highlight to see the ball ping pong off our defenders. They've had more shots. They've had more. We've had more of the ball. What's going on there? We are on positive. Bizarrely. Leon are... Where are they? They're drawing nil-nil. They've had an injury. It looks like a collision because Inter had an injury as well. We've, we've had most... We've had better XG. We've had more of the ball. We're doing okay away at Dortmund. There is, again, there is some little graphical change going on. I did notice this earlier on, but there is some other bits. Uh, do, 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 we've been the better team here. We have been the better team. I, I, I agree. Assistant manager. His name's Pedersen, I, knew, I do know that. I did sign him. Anyway, Beck to Simpson. Simpson to Vukic. Vukic to Maximoff. Maximoff's now injured. Why not? Let's injure all our wingers. Soljic. Kift. Was that the highlight? It was just to show me I had an injury. Oh, what do we do here? Who have we got on the bench? Provenzano, Kuhlmans. It's going to be Provenzano, isn't it? Provenzano is an inside forward. Again, he's just as good as Maximoff out there. Again, there's still nil nil Inter. Why would it why would it take the ally off? What assistant manager, please stop suggesting. I wish you'd fix that. Daft suggestions from the assistant manager. Nunes has got it. He's powering forward. We need to get him support support here. We need players in the box. We've got some now. And and well, we've wasted too long. We've got too many men back. They're gonna clear it and they're gonna hit us on the break. Which is gonna hurt my brain. But come on boys, you should get the ball off them. Provenzano has kind of held him up a little bit, but not much. Baran, out wide to... Boy, I can't pronounce. And it's a good save by Marzuki, who I am... Um, I, I just pray every day that I signed him. It's Give thanks in prayer is the words I'm looking for. Sometimes words don't come easily. No, that's not a boy's own song. But, uh, you know what? I'm showing my age when I'm starting something like that. Inter and Leon still drawing. We're 87 minutes. If it stays like this, we are through. If not, we are out. 
Uh, well, we're in the Europa League anyway. Uh, come on, Beck gets it forward to Simpson. Now, boys, come on, score a goal for me. It'd be just the most amazing thing in the world. We'd go top of the group if we scored at the moment. Simpson's got it. Vukic, it does look like it's going to be a highlight for us. Beck brings it forward. Can he get a ball in his mock? He can. It's the Provenzano has just missed an absolute sitter. And, oh, that's the noise I've just made. Fukic, Soljic, Kift to Simpson. Simpson, can he's had a, what kind of shot's that, Simpson? We're in the 90th, 91st minute here. Leon is still drawing. Uh, Real Madrid are getting beat 5 2 by Liverpool. And did we make it? Did we make it? Uh, we look at the XG nine shots, three on target, 1.06 XG, 53% possession. Did we do it? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I, tell me. Should I take Nunes? Who was I going to take Nunes off for? Are you mad? Uh, please, please. We have qualified for the knockout stages of the Champions League from a group container Inter Milan, Leon, and Borussia Dortmund. <laughs> We've only won two games. We only won two games and we qualified. <laughs> what a bizarre. Oh, <laughs> Maximov leg. Leaving us the physio, man. I don't care. Oh, we got we got eight hundred grand for that too. <laughs> I, I listen, I am amazed, absolutely amazed. We get another four hundred sixty grand in prize money for drawn matches. Send the assistant, get, get your go assistant, just go talk for me. The signal Aduna Park. I can't actually pronounce that. I always think of the actual real name. What was it? What did it used to be called? What was it? What was Dortmund's ground called before they sold out to the corporate shills? By renaming it the Signal Aduna. Oh, anyway, let's have a quick look at the league tables. We are fifth in the league, two games in hand, only five points off. Well, actually, we're now eight points off Chelsea. They must have won their game after us. Okay, uh, we're only six points off United. Only one point behind Spurs with two games in hand. We should overtake them. We've had a rough run of fixtures. We should have a decent run of fixtures now. We qualify for the Champions League. Absolutely bizarrely. I just don't. I just don't know what's going on anymore. Football has gone mad. When are we coming back? Okay, so it's not till February. This, so we will come back. I'm gonna. I'm gonna play a whole raft of games here tonight or tomorrow, and come back around about. I won't come back for Chelsea. I show you Chelsea every week. And we're gonna go. We're gonna go out here. So we aim for Villa, Fulham, or Stoke Villa. We'll come back around about them because I want to give you an update on the transfer window. Because while we have no money, I am trying to sign a Mexican wonder kid for the midfield. Who is just so much better than what we've already got. Uh, on instalments. On the never-never, as some people might say. But we will try. We'll see how we get on. We, we've offered them a contract with a £99 million release clause. And the board are going to hate me for the way this is structured. But anyway. Anyway. Doesn't matter about all that. We qualify for the knockout stage of the Champions League. And I want to just say a big appreciation because we are now at 110 followers on Twitch. Which means if I stream for a few more nights, we'll be affiliates already. If a few more people could come along, that would be great. But I know a lot of you gone out the last couple of days and just followed on Twitch, which is amazing. And thanks very much. If you are enjoying this save, because I am really enjoying it, and I can't wait to get stuck in and play all these games and see where we are once we come back. But if you are enjoying it, let me know in the comments. Like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff that usual people say. Really appreciate you watching, and I'll see you all again tomorrow.